What's going on guys? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about whether a car is an asset or not. So before we get into this, we need to describe what an asset really is. So what am I saying when I mean an asset? It's something that can help us financially in the future. For example, if I'm getting a brand new 2020 BMW from the dealership, I go over there, I buy it for like 80 something grand and I get a, I start financing and I'm starting making payments. That is not an asset. That's something as a liability. You're going to be making monthly payments. You're going to be struggling to pay that off. And at the end of the four years, once you do pay it off the car is only worth like 24 20 30 grand it's gonna be less than half its value it's gonna be one of the worst depreciating cars and I'm just using BMW to just over exaggerate the depreciation value of cars that does happen guys when you guys buy a car is most likely a liability I'm saying this for 95% of the cars but in some cases, yes, a car can be an asset. A car will help you gain value in the future. Audi R8 is a gated manual. And this Audi R8 can be worth a lot more in the future. What some people do not know about cars, if you're not a car enthusiast, before you guys start investing in cars, you guys should know a good amount before you guys start investing in it. For example, if I wanted to buy this Audi R8 and I realized it's an automatic transmission, it's a V8 model, it's gonna depreciate in value. It's not gonna be a good asset to hold. If I wanted to buy an Audi R8 and the features are a gated manual, which by the way, is only valuable in like three cars in the whole world that car is gonna be worth a lot more in the future so while it's sitting in the garage gaining dust it's actually gaining value if you guys know where to find these cars yes they could be an asset to you in room. I had a friend he has this huge garage full of Porsches full of classic Porsches 1990s he collected about 10 of these old Porsches super old paid about $80,000 for each one of the guy is doing pretty well financially because as, as I can see he had just more than one garage And he's been doing this for quite some time So it looks like the guy knows what he's doing and he told me that this type of car is limited There's not much in the area and he wants to collect all of them sort of like a monopoly You can't do that in business, but you could definitely do that with cars So he wants to collect all these types of cars all the same type and he wants to hold all of them So he can sell them more later in the future because he's the one that has them and later some guy down the road says Oh, I bought that car in high school. I really want it now and I have the money to buy it He's to pay whatever price he wants to get that car because that car means a lot to him if you guys are not a car enthusiast you guys don't understand that but some people are willing to pay that top dollar for something they really want a car that they really love they had a long time ago and they want it back now so in that case yes that could be considered as an asset but i'm talking about the normal standard go buy a car from the dealership using it on a day-to-day -day life no it is not an asset that is a liability you guys need to find ways to make that car an asset more than liability now if you guys pay a car straight cash and you get it for a good deal that's just a break even. It's not a liability. It's not an asset. You guys just got a good deal. It is what it is. You guys are using the car till the wheels fall off. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Comment down below your thoughts. I want to know what you guys think about this. Am I right? Am I wrong for thinking of this? And let me know if I should keep making videos like these. All right, and that concludes the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bless you guys and peace out.